got a couple of episodes left with me. Hello, magical box lovers, and welcome back to my channel. It is, of course, the month of October, and yes, I have, haven't done any dusting for a few weeks, so I've gone mad with the cobwebs. So, quick uh, trigger warning, <laughs> as it were. They may be cobwebs, but there are no spiders in my decoration, so if you are frightened of spiders, it is a spider-free zone behind. Okay, I, d I deliberately took the spiders out because I know some people are quite phobic of that. So you are safe. If you've got a fear of pumpkins, then unfortunately you're not safe because there's a lot of pumpkins behind me. I've got some bats, some skulls, skeletons and things like that. And some poison. <laughs> not real, not real. <laughs> so yes, as you can see, I've decorated the background for you all so what I'll do is I'll just quickly move out of the way and just give you a little little look because I know a lot of people ask me what, what's that behind you what's what's that did you make those and so this this is my Halloween setup or Samhain as we know it and love it so here we go I'll just move out of the way I've got I'm dressed as vampire well as a t-shirt not in the body there you go this is my Halloween decorations we've got of course little Sam and Michael there, got a little rats, two rats there, skeleton and not a skeleton, pumpkins, skeleton bird, another skeleton bird there, got a pumpkin that lights up so you'll see this changing colour, there we go, uh, we've got this little guy is one that you can turn inside out, it's one of the octopus that you're turning inside out and turns into a pop of pumpkin, beautiful pop pumpkin there, absolutely love that, I have that all year round, not just for Halloween, gargoyles, and then up above, you can't quite see it, I'll just hold it up there, we've got a pumpkin that I knitted years ago, a crochet pumpkin there, a knitted ghost, and one that's a musical pumpkin, so yes, so I've gone to town, so Wow! <laughs> so yeah, so that's a little bit of my background. So I won't do that every time. I've just done that for today because obviously I'm quite excited because I spent a few hours doing that. So I'll just get you back in position. Uh, yeah, I absolutely love it. I hope you guys love it as well. I want to keep it all year round, but the cobwebs go out absolutely everywhere. The weird thing is I did actually dust before I put the cobwebs on. Maybe I shouldn't have bothered. So I hope you like it. That's my Halloween decor for the month of October. So welcome to my channel one and all. And yes, we are finally here to my favourite month. It's Samhain, of course. And yes, my first, first box that's to arrive is Freya's Cauldron. And crikey, she said it was going to be a big one. You know how they're normally like that by that size? This is huge <laughs> look at the size of that it is absolutely huge i have opened it as you can see as you know i always let you know i'm always open and honest with you guys i do open my boxes purely for a safety sake because you don't want me to dive in there and put my hand in and there's going to be something broken you don't want to see that <laughs> and plus i get out the noodle doodles um, I do know there are still some noodle doodles on there, so I've, I've, I've locked my dogs away so they're not, if any gets on the floor, they're not going to eat them. Um, so, because there are some big boxes in here that I have not opened. Right, so, first things first, this is how it arrived, really well packaged, so very discreet, black box, fragile all the way, so just a generic box discreet fragile on the postage label i've just inked out my address nothing on there that says anything witchcraft related or even phrase cauldron the return address simply just, just says the address it doesn't say return to phrase cauldron at all so 100 percent discreet so we'll get the contents out together then i'll go in detail of each content here we go i'll just pull my chair up a bit nearer so it's, it's quite heavy as well, this box, so I'll be glad to get everything out and then go in, in detail. So, here we go. Oh. <laughs> See what I mean? It's huge! Absolutely huge! So, 
this is the book of shadows i have just opened that just cut it just to make it a bit quicker on camera i have not looked what's inside but i have seen this this was loose on the top and look how beautiful that is you will have seen that on the shorts that i've started doing uh, i hope you're enjoying the shorts as well i'm enjoying making them uh, but yeah I absolutely love that. I'll be using that on my altar. So, see what I mean now? There's two big boxes. Those I have not touched at all. So we've got a herb blend. So I'm just getting things out. Candles as usual. Uh, we seem to be getting candles, a dressing each month. Ooh, that reminds me of Mindful Souls baggies no idea what these are there we go Woo, bracelet as you know i love me my bracelets I've just seen what they are because i haven't seen the contents i don't know what they are i just literally go oh there's some noodles take them out Now I have read that I will, that's the first thing I want to read to you guys. So these boxes, all I've done is I've just cut that with a knife just to make it quicker. I haven't opened it, just to make it a little bit quicker on camera for you guys. And as you can see, there's still some noodles in there. So two big boxes can be saved till last, just to let you know if you, you want to see what they are and not bothered about the rest of the video, I'm going to be saving those till last. I don't know what they are, I'm so excited. So excited, so yeah, huge box. So, bit of news before we start. So, if you do know Freya's Cauldron, she not only does the Spellkeeper's Chess, which is what this monthly subscription box is called, okay? She runs a moon uh, box, moon box, subscription box, but it, I tell a lie, it's not a subscription box, it's uh, just a monthly box um, that is... Uh, and that first come first serve that's the best way to explain it um, so I think it's like the second week of the month uh, you get a moon box um, obviously if it sells out you're unlucky but you're not subscribed to it and it's same with the crystal box as well uh, but exciting news she is combining this box which is your subscription box with the moon box which is absolutely amazing because as you can appreciate it gets a little bit expensive when you're buying the subscription box then you want the monthly moon box because of course that's another addition on top and then if you want the crystals as well that's another addition on top so that's three boxes you'll be getting from one company uh, I've only when I was first collecting my crystals got a few of the boxes for the crystals just to collect you know get my crystal collection going but now I don't have that uh, same with the moon box I've picked and choose which boxes that I wanted to get but this is absolutely amazing that she's going to incorporate the moon box with this now it doesn't say that the price is going up it doesn't mention anything about the price because she has kept the price well it's one of the lowest price boxes that I get on this channel I don't mention prices it's not about that it's about enjoying the boxes that's not what my channel is about if you want to see for yourself how much it is please go ahead and check out because I could tell you one price and then you could be looking at this in America and it's a completely different price for you that's why I never say any prices okay uh, but she has kept her prices exactly the same for many years um, so this is good news and it is starting from next month. So there you go. That is that is really good good news. I'll just hold that up. Uh, it's also got her website on there. Type in Freya's Cauldron. Highly recommend her site as well because she runs a shop as well. Not just boxes. She has an amazing shop. And if you join her Facebook group, you're the first one to know of any new items that are in her shop. And I love her site, especially for crystals, because what crystal you see is the crystal that you get. 
So if you order crystal A, you get crystal A, not just a random crystal. So that's what I absolutely love about her. Right, so we'll get to the good stuff. So, oh, All Hallows Her Blend. So I, I mentioned before, uh, with her her blends and all her candle dressings, any type of her mixes and things, they are secret family recipes. Um, obviously, they are secret to her generations that I've gone through, uh, handed down. So they are secret to her and to her family. So I 100% respect that. Um, so yeah, so that's why we don't know what's in it, because I did ask can you let us know what what are in you know what are in them and for magical reasons we like to know what's in them and then when she mentioned that well it's the secret family recipe then totally agree with her for that uh, because yeah it's something you can respect and to totally understand I've got recipes that I wouldn't give out um, so yeah so that is why there's no mention of what's what the ingredients are but I absolutely love that. I love the jars as well. They fit really nicely together when you get a few and you can do a really nice pattern like I've done uh, in my cupboard for herbs. So yeah, that's another one for my collection. Um, and to go with that, we've got the All Hallows candle dressing. If you can get in focus, it's quite yellow. Yellowy orangey. Whoa, yes, very yellowy orange. See if we can get a, a fragrance from it. Oh, very citrusy, yes. Very citrusy. It's, it smells like, it smells citrusy. Really got a lot of lemon oil, I would say, is in there. But yeah, very, very citrus. Beautiful. Uh, so I'm getting like the easy, easy peasy ones out of the way first. These, are these soap soul melts? So we've got sherbet zombies. Are these? I think these are soaps. Oh no, they're not. <laughs> it says keep away from children. Burn with inside. So I don't think the soap, <laughs> the wax melts, aren't they? <laughs> Let's have a look. And I, I need to um, do some wax melts. So I'll get one out for you. <laughs> Me. Oh, I've got a little, got a little thing here. So. Scented and sealed wax melts. Scented and sealed from. Oh, that is the name of it. So I don't know if you can see that. There we go. So the Etsy company, it's an Etsy company that have supplied Fraser Cauldron with these, and it is called Scented and Sealed. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. There we go. So that is their Etsy, and they've also got uh, is it that TikTok. Uh, Instagram and Facebook. Yes, all of them are scented sealed. They, it smells absolutely gorgeous. It's, it smells candy, sweets. No, don't have them. I once did that, you know, cold tar soap. <laughs> when I was a child, not when I was an adult. I was about 15. <laughs> Old enough to know better, put it that way. Oh yeah, it says sherbet zombie. Yeah, sherbet lemons. No, don't help, don't help. <laughs> See what it says, you know, warning for children. It should say warning for adults. I haven't really shown you, have I? Sorry. So the little pumpkins look. Aren't they beautiful? I love them. They're too, too nice to, to melt. There we go. They're beautiful. I love them. But yeah, scented scent and sealed. Let's see. Thank you very much. Love them. It's not very often that uh, Freya actually goes out of her own source. It's normally all made especially for Freya, so that's quite unusual for us to outsource. So quite nice. So we've got a chip, so it's either obsidian or tourmaline. I've already got a tourmaline one. So I'm just going to check in the in the book of shadows so i haven't looked up any, at all in this i have opened it obviously but that's purely just to save a bit of time and um, so 
it says here welcome to our October box we had some Halloween fun this month as we went a bit mad buying fun items we have a much bigger box than usual we hope you will enjoy all the fun goodies we have for you this time certainly I'm doing uh... so it's black obsidian and rainbow obsidian crystal chip so I I'm wondering I've got the black obsidian so I'm wondering if there are two types because sometimes you can get different boxes with different things in I think there's a rainbow obsidian someone might have got a rainbow obsidian I've got the black obsidian one that's all right that'll go on I'll be charging that tonight there we go yay <laughs> not lose that one so these are as it says on the tin the book of shadows pages i can't show them because Frey does hold copyright on all of her items um so i can't show you you know the spells and things but we do have uh, a page for saying you know i can't hold them up but i can do a quick glance she gives you a full information sheet about the bracelet about the black obsidian and uh, that it's about all its energies its elements its fire its earth uh, I can tell you it's magical uses and magical uses is made for protection, grounding, divination, peace, banishing negativity, transformation, fulfillment, met metamorphosis, manifestations and psychic abilities. And also we have something uh, explained about thinning of the veil. Of course, we're approaching Samhain or All Hallows Eve, uh, Halloween, whatever you prefer to call it. Uh, so it explains about what is the veil and when and why does it happen and what should you do uh, gives you some ideas um, so yeah a little bit skimpy this time we normally have quite a few things so we've got the ingredients list as I say uh, about the black uh, obsidian and thinning of the veil sometimes we can get quite a few of them but I think more time has been spent on getting this box together because we've got a lot of items to get through so speaking of which we'll carry on so we've got candles so these are perfect for this time of year we've got your what I'd call traditional Halloween colours I would have had included a purple one as well there we go perfect and of course you don't need fancy coloured candles they're just a nicety if you've got on a budget or just simply don't have just use a bogo standard white one absolutely fine just put your intention in that works just as well as a broken one says she <laughs> as a fancy coloured one you know your expensive candles will work just as ex you know just as much as a little tiny tea light it's what you energies you've put into it that count you know um, don't think that because you've got the wrong color candle you know you you can't afford all these fancy color candles that you're not going to your spells not going to work no it's your intention love it's your intention keep your intention pure and it will work it will work you don't need all these tools all these things that we have here are just niceties and things that we want you only need yourself to make magic okay there we go right helen's hint of the day yes i've said it <laughs> right so what we got next so we'll go for the spell kit so i'm saying so a lot i don't know why uh, so <laughs> out with the old and in with the new spell kit I'll use my trusty unicorn scissors careful not to take a finger off or an eye out I've, I've actually put some lashes on the first time in months I know <laughs> I, I just haven't bothered for months <laughs> my eyelashes actually started to thin a bit so I gave them a rest for a bit and they've grown back quite nicely and um, I think it's with the continuously putting fake lashes on. I've got pulling more out than, than they were coming back. So give them a rest for a bit. And you know me, I like me, my lashes. Right, so we have. I'm saying it again, so. 
I must have watched a film something and someone was saying slow. Speaking of films, have you seen Hocus Pocus 2? What do we think about it? If you've seen it, let me know in the comments down below because I absolutely loved it. I thought I thought it was perfect and I loved it. It it was a perfect one because I was I was worried that there was going to ruin my memory of the original. And I thought they did it proud. I thought it was lovely. I really did. And I was crying at the end. Like a little kid, I was crying. Because it was such a lovely ending. Because the ending in the last one, they ended like villains. And the ending in this one, it was like, oh, it was so sweet. So comments down below, guys, if, if you have seen Hocus Pocus 2. Or if you haven't, if you're wanting to see it, any thoughts about it. Let me know. I'd love to hear your thoughts about it because I absolutely loved it. And yes, I made my husband watch it. He didn't really like it. Not his thing, but he can't can't believe it. He's never watched the first one, so I made him watch that one as well. No kidding. He, he don't really do those type of films. He don't like nice nice films. <laughs> nice films like like witches and things like that. There we go. Anyway, back to the spell. So we've got an out with the old and in with the new spell. So basically is what it is. So it's to, to get rid of old things and welcoming new things into your life. So what I'm saying it again. So shut up, Helen. Stop it. We have a herb mix. Ooh, I wondered what that was then, it felt so strange, we had a white candle, again, this is what I'm saying guys, you only need a white candle for everything, you don't need the fancy coloured ones, so check out Pound Shop, you know, get, don't bother buying all the coloured ones, if you're on a budget, can't afford, spend your money on white candles, you will not regret it, okay. Anything else? So that's it. So basically, it's yeah, it's just a spell just to get rid of anything that you don't want in your life and to welcome new. I'm popping that in, we haven't looked at that yet, and to welcome new things into your life. And with it, you use uh, the oil blend for uh, the candle that the, we've just seen earlier. I can't tell you too much about the spell because it does have the copyright on it, and I don't want to get rare done. There we go. So I'll put that back in there. <laughs> I like that one. I like it. So I'm super intrigued with this because it reminds me of the Mindful Souls little baggies, doesn't it? It's not got anything on it. I wonder if it's the crystal. Yeah. Ooh! Wow! I think I'm sorry. I'll, I'll look right then. <laughs> Try and see if I can catch the light. I'm thinking Labradorite. Lab, lab. I can never pronounce it, so I do apologise if I'm saying it wrong. Labradorite. <laughs> I am terrible at pronouncing things, so I, I am aware that I do pronounce things wrong. Oh, look at that. Do you know what it reminds me of? Veins in a leaf. That is beautiful. I actually saw the reverse side first because of that. What's the what we've got? I thought it was slate because look. Like I thought, what have we got a chunk of slate for? <laughs> and then I just saw it shrunk a little bit there. And I'm like, ooh, it's not slate. And then I just turned it round. I'm a bit, a bit greedy, I looked at it before you guys. Very like Mother of Pearl, that's what it reminds me of. That is beautiful, I love that. It reminds me, you know when um, you put petrol on water? That like rainbow, I love rainbows. I absolutely adore rainbows. Before rainbows became cool, I was into rainbows. And of course, it's, it's, it's our emblem, because I work for the NHS, it's our emblem as well. So, there we go, love it, 
that is beautiful so I'm just going to double check what are we we are yay I got it right yay Lab Labradorite <laughs> it's a Labrador that is beautiful I, I could just show you that all day because I absolutely love it and I'm especially intrigued by that bit there because I keep seeing all the different colours that are like going towards it I don't know if you guys can pick up on that or not on the camera I'm doing my best to try and get a really good view but yeah it does remind me of um, veins not human veins but you know veins in leaves that is absolutely beautiful and that is a bit like an eye that that's beautiful and then when you hold it like that it's nothing so unassuming so it could be a black rock there. If I held it like that, you'd perhaps think, oh, it's just a bit of, I don't know, a black rock, obsidian or something like that. Just thinking off the top of my head. And then the light catches it and he's like, wow. That is amazing. I love that. Right, I better move on to something else before you go. <laughs> yeah, she's gone with the fairies. Right. Yes. What everybody needs, a time out bag. There we go. <laughs> We've got some good old Tetley teed up. There we go. Oh! Pencils. Don't knock it. Right, why have we got some pencils? Look at, oh. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm going to be playing later. Look what we've got. It's a little Halloween drawing. So it's take time out and enjoy a little treat and us. Make a brew, sit, relax and take time out for you. Enjoy a little bit of colouring in with our Halloween scene. I love that. I like the ghosty. Oh, isn't that cute? I like that. <laughs> Why is there a little, a little snail there? Oh. oh, that is cute. I like that. <laughs> all these spells and candles and things and I like the cute little drawing in the pencils that's typical of me I like that <laughs> what a fun idea and again you can use your pencils in spells you know with, like I was saying with colours and things with intentions um, you know you have your different colour meanings and that you can use those pencils for that for doing your petitions using your different colours there we go, so those pencils can be reused for that. Right, so we've got the little sign, so here we go. What does it say? One repair service. I love that. I think that's well cute. And the last, well not, not the last one, but I love that as well. I saw that straight away on there. Uh, on the top of the box. I thought it was absolutely beautiful. That's definitely going on my altar. So we are down now to the two boxes. Big box and little box. So little box first. I'll, I'll say big until last. So let's get it in. noodle doodles oh, these noodle doodles are the ones that dissolve as well so just pop them in some warm water it don't matter about the warm water you can use cold water but it just takes a little bit longer so the warmer the water the quicker they dissolve even just by the heat of my hand they're already starting to to go there we go pop that to one side so as you can see i have not undone this i just slit the uh, the tape Bear with me whilst I just get my trusty scissors. Bang, that didn't sound healthy. Right, hang on. 
I'm just snipping away at it and then I can unwrap it for you. We're we ready. I don't think it is a mug. I thought it was a mug. That that mug I got in, I think it was, was it which well, which box or which casket? I absolutely love it by the way. Just, just a little catch up. <laughs> I like mugs, by the way. Fair's cold and I like mugs. <laughs> I've just seen what, there's some writing on it and I, I'm just laughing to myself, it's right. That is that. So it's just, it looks like a ceramic cauldron. I thought it was a mug. So we've got a ceramic cauldron by the looks of it. Oh, oh that was a bit creepy. I just did that. And the hands aren't they oh you know when you just get a shiver down your spine i just got that and i just like Ugh. so yeah i don't know what to make of that i like it but i'm like what can i use it for is it fireproof this is not a toy for novelty decoration keep away from fire extreme heat so it's just it's just a I'm going to look up to see what it says about it. I like it, but I'm like, what can I do with it? Um, where are we? So it's Spooky Spells Cauldron Pot. That's all it says. But I do love it. But I don't know what I'm going to use it for yet. Yet. I will think of something. If you guys have an idea, bear in mind it's not, you can't use it as a proper cauldron. And it's not going to be something you can actually eat or drink out of, I wouldn't say. It's going to be decorative, it's decorative pur purposes only. I would, if it had been a cup, I'd love that. Or if it had been like um, a soup bowl. But yeah, I'm, that's got me thinking that. So if you guys can think of an idea for me, what I can use that for. Other, other than to join my menagerie behind me. But I do like that, that's cool. Right, I can't wait to see what's next. There we go, right, I nearly knocked everything off then. In fact, I'll pop that over there, then I won't knock that over. So this is the last box. So all I did with this, same as the other one, I just cut that with the knife. So there's noodle doodles in there. So I'm just going to be careful getting this one out, because this one is bigger than the last one. I just don't want the noodles to go everywhere. See why I normally spend some time beforehand with these boxes. Oh, we've got a candle. Does that give the game away as to what it is? So it's something candle related anyway. And it's quite big though. But I say this this is why I spend time with my boxes. I always like to get rid of these because Otherwise, you, I'm spending most of my time on the videos doing that for you. Uh, that's it. So the box is empty. Just got the doodles. <laughs> it's just like a sea of, of, of rubbish on my table now. I've just got the goodies there and rubbish there. So we're back to pass the parcel. So I'll just cut into this. So like I say, you can see I haven't opened these. I'm honest with you guys, if I have opened something, I'll tell you. I'm not going to lie to you. It's like I don't edit my videos. Uh, that's another reason I like to keep my videos real. Uh, if something happens, it happens, you know. I've even cried and opened my heart up on these videos. It happens. I'm not going to take that away from you guys. Um, I like you to see the real me. And um, that's what it's all about. This, we're all friends together here. Still trying to break into this. <laughs> well, it's very well wrapped, whatever it is. <laughs> trying to loosen it up enough so I can share it with you. So I can unwrap it. Right, so I've loosened it up enough. 
so I can try and share it together as we unwrap it. Oh crikey, I think there's going to be more. Oh, Chris, there's more! It's past the parcel. Still none the wiser. It's got lighter anyway. Oh, I think I know what it is. So, oh my, good night. La 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 la. Just sing amongst yourselves whilst I try not to cut a finger off. Trouble is, would you know, or would you think, oh, it's just some special effects that she's doing for it with it being sour? <laughs> I'll see what it is and love it. Right. Okay, we're ready. I'm giving you the, the bottom end first so you don't you don't see it too quickly. I'm, I'm smiling because I'm seeing what it is and I absolutely love it. I love it more than the other one, I must say. Are we ready? Look at him! Into your ace! Hello! Oh, I love him! So he's obviously he's a candle, candle burner. So we've got the little oh, tea light. And with him being quite big, you can have quite a big, biggish candle, I'd say. Oh, in TQ, I like him. I like it. I haven't seen one like him before, I must admit. But there's quite a big, see what I mean? There's quite a big gap. But no, I haven't seen one like him. Oh, I like him. I prefer him to the, the, um, the cauldron. I think it's because it's not usable. And I always think a cauldron should be usable. I don't know why I've got that into my mind. Um... I don't know there's just something about it I'm like what can I do with it what can I put in it and I don't know but this I absolutely adore oh, I love it I can't wait to use this tonight because that's going to shine really nice isn't it because of course that's because it's, it's looking like it's going to shine all the way through but that it, it's you're not going to see that where my fingers are it's going to be like that oh well thank you very much Freya I love him. That's it. He's my favourite out of all of the box. I love it. So yeah, very first box done for Samhain. More to come and all, fingers crossed, all being well, a new box should be arriving. Fingers crossed. Don't know yet whether it'll arrive for October or not. It may be for November. Hope not. Hope not. Hope it's for this month. So, thank you very much for watching. Please stay safe and I will see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now. Happy Samhain everybody. Bye.